can't seem to find my mind Not broken, half joking I wear this smile by design I'm sticks and stones Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Just Place. I have here the Iron Kite Studios Gahara, pretty awesome piece. I really love this piece. I got this from a trade, which is pretty interesting on its own. Um, and I'm also gonna share with you guys the story about that one and the next part. The second part of this video will be the review itself. So if you want to just check under the review itself directly, you can follow the links, I don't know, somewhere here. Um, but if you want to know the story, how I traded this, it's pretty interesting. You be the judge in that and what happened. So either way, let's get started. So um, let me try to explain or give you a story, the shorter version because it was a, a long discussion, a lot of stuff. And then you be the judge if the guy was just bullshitting me or scamming me or anything. Um, and also, let me know what you think of the trade. Is it worth it or not? Good or bad? Leave your um, comments down below. I do appreciate that one. But either way, this is how it went. So um, I traded this with with XM Cable, um, and somehow there's this kind of red flags from the beginning. So first was that. The guy who was selling this uh, originally told me that there was another guy who wants to buy it but eventually backed out. I, I even saw that it got reserved and then he re removed the reservation. So I was like, okay, uh, I'll trade this straight with my cable. Uh, yeah, with my Exxon cable. And that was the second weird red flag which is like he agreed with the straight trade. This uh, he priced it like $300 more compared to how much I'm selling my cable. And that was kind of weird that he just accepts that. And I was like, how does how does this happen? That doesn't happen most of the time. Then the next one was, he told me before he sent uh, it to me or delivered to me is that he only, this one only has one box. When I received it, I got two. So since I have two boxes, I have to ask, what is this? other box he told me it's for spare parts I was like what and then when I opened the box there was damage in it and just to make the story shorter because there were a lot of discussion this was the most frustrating part um, he told me don't mind that that's the purpose of the spare parts I was like what <laughs> So when I opened the second box, there were, I would say, different parts. The sand, the big sand here, and the sand drips, they were both separated. And I asked him, are these pieces separated or in the, the uh, attached together? He said they're attached together and I was like, what? They are, they're separated and he doesn't even know that. I was like, what is this guy? Does he even know what he's talking about? So I get really pissed off, very frustrated at that time. I, I feel he doesn't even know what he's talking about. And he just told me just to stick it. I said, dude, if I do that, that would be the best. But the problem there, another problem was when I look at the, the sand drips, it doesn't even have the same color as the the sand part i was like dude do you even know what you're talking about he didn't even open the spare parts very frustrating and eventually i told him no um it's not working you have to pay me something 
at least pay me the the sand the, but the fixing the this damage here because I'll just use the replacement and attach it there and also have it repainted because it doesn't again it doesn't have the same color uh, good thing he agreed so I kind of also feel responsible for this because normally I would always check those pieces at this point I, at, at, at least when we made a deal I didn't check that much so I kind of feel responsible so I told him let's divide the how much I, I would pay for this one if I need it to be fixed and then yeah give me the half of the cost of this one so he did good thing he agreed now I threw already the the big the extra big sand grip I kept the uh, the, the extra big uh, sand uh, sculpt there and I kept those tiny sand drips I will ask Yuli to fix that as well already told him um, maybe I asked him to do it but after Christmas so I want to keep this because this actually looks good and what do you think it, it was he just bullshitting me scamming me or anything and do you think it's a good trade was it worth it to trade this with the XM cable let me know let's start with the base so the base has actually a very nice touch because it has this different plaques um, I like it I I kind of don't like this one but I do love the, the Gara I hope it focuses there this one um, I like this one and the one that I currently have let me try to put it in uh, remove it this one hopefully it focuses again there you go this one I don't know what it meant I guess I'm, I'm I, I guess it's Gara so I like it that where you, you can change this um, and the ba I always like this like round bases I love that the like museum bases and it has this nice sand drips I hope I wish that there were like more uh, dripping but that's okay the only problem with this is when you put in all those spike spiky stuff um, it's a bit hard to move like it's really hard because they, they are in the base and you will touch it uh, by the way this spike are actually plastic which is okay um, they're just more likely like friction fit so it kind of a lot so you have to be patient about it it's kind of therapeutic as well there are basically three parts of the base or I guess I call it still part of the base there's this big one where there's the sand drips the tiny ones there I'm not sure if originally they're like, look separated I I'm not sure and then there's also this part this uh, like a smaller part there let me try to move this this one here and it's just magnet uh, magnetized um, there's just magnet and then it will just attach to the big part and there's also one here which has a bag at the back so the this ones are I, I, I like I said I would say part of the base they're quite good there's a lot of details there's these black lines that I don't like which I don't know it, it's it's not that good I think it's supposed to be like cracks or something um, but either way the texture is amazing there's a lot of holes so if you want the spikes to be there you have to do a lot of stuff I think it took me like three rounds or four um, to, to put it in it's at first it's kind of tiring but eventually it's ended up like like a therapeutic one I, something like that it, it was kind of like nice and having some music just putting them that putting them there that's amazing so this is the base a lot of details a lot of texture paint job is okay um, I, I think I kind of like the paint job it doesn't have that so much other than the, the the black lines or something that one I don't like so let's talk about Gaara which I will also show you guys some close-ups I like the pose there's a lot of texture here um, in the clothes I really love that it's kind of I don't know um, sometimes it's kind of scary because I think you need to put Gaara first and then you put this big piece because if you don't I think you will have a big problem that you might hit the, the hair so let me try to move it like here you might hit the hair part and that's what I'm always scared so I put Gaara first and then the big piece um, this one at the back I don't know what it's called to be honest uh, it's kind of scary sometimes if you're your first time uh, assembling it 
um, but the magnets are quite strong so far uh, I'm not sure I don't think it's super flush but it's at the back anyway which is okay didn't fall yet again I love the details I love the costume I like this Gaara here I mean the, the age because if you know Naruto I think it started when they were still kids and then they even grew up so I like this uh, Gaara age <laughs> um, so I love it I love the pose I like that he, this is what I always love Gara that he's that serious and like very enigmatic so I love that so there you go this is the close-ups of the piece this is those sand shells pretty detailed there there's quite some texture also maybe I'll show you once on the top there you are it has actually a pretty good detail and uh, in the shells and also this spikes they're actually plastic it was kind of somehow therapeutic putting all of them uh, but there's quite a lot like a lot like I said so let's look at from the side especially the Kaara so that you will see the details look at that pretty awesome the details in his uh, costume is pretty good there the texture as well pretty awesome very detailed let's go up a bit further at Gara's face I really like this stern look uh, this is what I love about Gara. amazing details the hair as well I hope it focuses properly there you go so this is Gara. the feet there's actually a lot of details in the feet as well I hope I can focus it properly there you go so one last look of Gaara maybe let's zoom out a bit to see his glory look at that pretty awesome as for the rating paint quality wise I am only give this as a 4.0 I didn't see any paint issues no bubbling or at least something like that um, I, I like it um, the only thing I don't like which is also not so noticeable is those black lines I, I think that's I know they're supposed to be cracks or something I, I it's not that good so that's why I'm only giving it a 4.0 color I'm giving this as a 4.5 I like the color uh, it's toned down a very Gaara color I love that it has a cohesion uh, of colors as well I really like that and uh, for me I love the, the, the Gaara color scheme I really like this one and as for the weathering I'm only giving it as a 4.0 as well like I said it's it's toned down it's dark uh, it doesn't have that much weathering I would have wanted that there's a lot of weathering because there's sand but it doesn't so that's why I'm only giving a 4.0 as for the shadows and highlights I'm giving it a 4.5 it does have a good shadows and highlights since he is somehow like anime, I'm not expecting a lot of shadows and highlights in the skin but in the clothes there are and then they are really well done even the, this thing in his back also has a very good shadows and highlights and uh, this big sand there as well so pretty awesome for that that's why I'm giving the 4.5 scope wise quality I'm gonna give it a 3.5 because of the damage and this one this how it's connected doesn't really look good it does have good scope, for, especially for Gaara. I like the details there. Um, yeah, quality wise, just 3.5. Texture, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 because I do wish that there's like tiny texture around the, how do I say, around the this, this sand thing. Uh, that would have been amazing, um, but it doesn't. But the texture in Gaara's clothes are pretty good. I really love that. So texture is 4.5. With regards to weight and size, I'm gonna give this as a 5.0 because I love the size, I love the weight. Um, it's just good for the, this is one fourth scale. It, for that weight and size, it's perfect. I really love that, that's why 5.0. As for details and complexity, I'm only gonna give this a 4.5 because it doesn't have, the, it may look complex, but this spikes right here are not really that complex. It didn't make it complex enough. Um, but I do love the details in Gaara, uh, the costume itself, that is pretty amazing. I love it and I love the pose. I really like this one so that's why it's only 4.5.
Design, um, concept wise, I'm gonna give this as 5.0. It's pretty good. I love the concept. Uh, and then there's I, there's even an alternate uh, display option where you can remove all of this shells and just the Aura there. I love that. Um, I love the spikes that they're not metal. I don't want it to be metal because that would be very problematic if they fall. So concept, I'm gonna give this a 5.0. With regards to displayability, I'm only gonna give this as 4.0 because it's kind of this is how I would really want it to be displayed, and it's kind of like gonna mess up everything, and you really need a big space for this one, so that's kind of tricky. So displayability only uh, 4.0. Assembly, whew, I'm gonna give this as. Uh, 4.0 also, uh, I mean, again, I mentioned that it's very therapeutic putting all these spikes, but it's not that easy. And also assembling the, the, the big cone here or shell, it's also not that easy. So yeah, I'm only giving it as a 4.0. As for switch outs and mixed media, there's really not much switch out. There only, only this ones, I, I do like this. Uh, the mixed media, I think these are plastic, so I'm only giving this also as a 4.0 for switch out and mixed media. So there you go, that was the story behind the trade and that is my review. I do like this piece. Um, let me know also what you think with the story. Was it was I wrong or was it my fault or the other guy's fault? Is this scamming or not? Is the trade okay? Really interested to know you, what you think guys. Uh, but yeah, that's it and I hope you like the video. If you do, click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone. And always subscribe to my channel if you haven't so that you'll help my channel grow. And see you in the next video.